What's going on guys, Ed here, back with some more cool science fitness content shit for you. So today we're talking about TRT and creatine, but before we get into it, as always, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, drop them below. Make sure you subscribe and share this shit with a friend, because we got to get this information out there, alright? I'm a genius, the world needs to know about it. Anyway, today the big question is, if you're on TRT, should you also be taking creatine? Does it work? Does it kind of like cancel it out? Is it worth it to take creatine if you're taking TRT? Does it have any effect? The answer is yes, of course it does. Duh, idiot. They work through completely different pathways. So your testosterone is going to work through the androgen pathway. It's going to bind to androgen receptors in your body. Um, it has all kinds of effects, as you know, on your hormones, your endocrine system. There's tons of videos on testosterone. I make a lot of videos myself about them. This isn't a real breakdown of what testosterone is and how it does its thing, but this is just uh, why can we take both at the same time? So yeah, obviously... Testosterone is a hormone, it works through the androgen pathway. Creatine is something completely different, does not work through the androgen pathway. So it's not going to interfere with testosterone, it's not going to take over and compete for the same receptors, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Sometimes when you take certain steroids together or steroids and SARMs, they will compete with each other, but this is not the case. This is because creatine works through a completely different pathway. Um, so basically your muscles use, they don't use creatine for energy, they use um, what's called ATP, it's a adenosine triphosphate, it breaks it down into ADP and phosphate and through that energy is made and your muscles can use it for energy. Anyway, you only have a certain amount of ATP in your muscles ready to be used for energy, it goes quick, it's used up in a couple of seconds. Creatine is there to kind of rebuild ATP. So instead of only like a quick couple seconds of high intense energy, you'll get a little bit more out of it, 10 to even 30 seconds. That's where creatine kind of shines. It's in the, uh, you know, the weightlifting, the, the, the power, the sprint exercises, explosive energy content that's used up rather quickly. It won't help you so much in like an endurance event. Um, but I personally notice creatine, uh, like if I don't take creatine, um, Say my bench will go from, I don't know, I'll hit 225 for 25 reps. I get off my creatine, now I can only hit 20. All right, so it really fuels your muscles. Um, it helps to regenerate energy that your muscles can use. Um, it also has a bunch of other effects. There's neurological benefits to creatine. Um, they say like as far as like memory, cognition, even feel better. Uh, there's a lot of studies out there. Again, this isn't a deep dive on creatine. Um, but yeah, it can be very helpful. So if you guys are considering, should I add creatine in with my TRT? Is it worth it? Does it work? I would say yes. It does. They're going to complement each other very well. You don't need to do the whole loading phase with creatine either. Everybody's like, oh, take 25 grams a day for the first week and you're going to use up a shit ton of creatine. It's going to affect your kidneys. Um, you got to watch creatine. It's going to raise uh, some things in your body if you're getting your blood work checked. Your, uh, your, your levels are going to be a little bit off. Your kidney markers, your creatinine, your... There's a lot of shit that goes into it. Anyway... Yeah, so I would recommend stay away from real high doses of creatine just because you don't really need it. It's not necessary. You reap the benefits of creatine at 5 grams per day, which you don't need 25. 5 a day will do it. They just say 25 to get it to that saturation point in your system quicker, where when you take creatine at 5 grams a day, it, instead of taking maybe a week or two when you do a whole loading phase, it'll reach saturation levels in your body within like a month. So... Take five grams a day for a month, you're gonna reap the full benefits of creatine. Uh, similar to testosterone, depending on the ester, typically with a, I don't know, an enthate or cypionate ester, it's gonna take a while for it to build up in your system. They say kind of like five half-lives for the saturation point, so say the half-life is seven, eight days, you're thinking five, it's about a month, month and a half until that testosterone is kind of like fully active and you're really reaping the benefits of it. Um, so, you know, same thing, testosterone, creatine, they both got to build up in your system for them to, uh, work fully. But hey, I mean, 
if you're gonna get increased force production, you know, from your testosterone, from your creatine, that's great. They're gonna work together. Everybody thinks, ah, oh, if I take creatine, you know, I'm gonna gain a whole bunch of water weight. Yes, it is a little bit water retentive, but it's not crazy like people say. Um, especially if you take it in the doses that they recommend. I would say three, three to five grams a day. That's it. That's all you need. Nothing crazy. Um, that way, instead of going from your TRT dose, say you're at you know, 100 to 200 milligrams a week of testosterone. Instead of doubling that from 200 to 400, you could probably get the same results by adding five grams of creatine a day and get way less side effects. So there's that option, all right? Um, I mean, I think that's pretty cool, uh, you know, that they do have very similar effects as far as energy output, um, Neurological feel-good effects, um, force production. You're you're gonna look better. You're gonna your muscles are gonna be fuller. Uh, so they do work great together. So if you're thinking about, you know, if it's worth it or not, I would say why not. I will say just drink a lot of water. It's good for your body, good for your organs, good for your you know your liver, your kidneys, your ear, everything. It's gonna flush everything out, make everything move nice and good. It's good to stay hydrated anyway. Um, so make sure you drink water, uh, watch out for cramps, creatine might make you cramp up, um, testosterone, you know, you gotta watch for a lot of side effects, um, the hair loss, the acne, the gyno, the, the whole list. Go watch my videos on testosterone, okay? Uh, but yeah, creatine is really the only thing other than like, well, I'm not gonna say, alright. Creatine is one of the most well-researched products out there that you can take naturally. Other than like whey protein, creatine is like the other big one. So it works. It's cheap. Why not throw it in with your TRT? You don't really need to cycle it. You don't really need to cycle your TRT. You don't really need to cycle your creatine if you take them in the right amount of dosage that you're supposed to. Don't overdo it. Take a little bit of each and you're going to be fine, all right? Trust me, I'm not a doctor, so this isn't medical advice, but from trial and error, I can say that they work. I still take a little bit of creatine, not much, and maybe like three, three grams a day. Like I usually measure it out, but now I have a good idea with the scoop where the level is, so I really don't take much at all, but it works. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, we're not diving real deep into the science of how or why it works. This is just anecdotal advice from a guy who's done testosterone with creatine. And it works. There's a lot of people that do it. Um, and they don't negatively affect each other in a bad way. So if you're thinking about it, you can do it. Um, it's not going to kill you. That's it. That's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching. If you guys got any questions, if you want to see something in the next video, I don't know, whatever the hell it may be, let me know in the comments below, okay? With that, thank you for watching. Ed out. Bye-bye.